Well, there's Warren Luff. Does he want a bit of revenge on Nesbitt? Will he, uh, will he make the nice smooth pass or will he shove it down the inside, so to speak, and uh, take that place back off Nesbitt that he lost uh, a few corners back? I tell you what, Warren is one of the quickest guys around this place. He's had a lot of track time. And if you look at the lap times, the guys are running right down in the 122s right at the moment. This is exactly what Dean Evans needs, though. These guys have got to be battling, and uh, Evans is only going to charge away. Here comes Warren down the inside. Oh, I tell you what, it's close. There's a touch. No one touches the wall. This is side by side, a drag race down to the next left-hander. Well, it surely is. You don't get any closer than that. You can see these cars wheel to wheel. That just goes to show how the performance of these cars is neck and neck. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a handful of brave tablets down through the high-speed kink. Here we go, Warren Luff on the inside. Oh, a little touch of the brakes, and Nesbitt's got the big oversteer. You can see Warren covers the oh. inside with the wheel on the inside. You can see just how close these cars are. And, uh, and that just gives you a very good uh, mirrored image of what racing is like here on the Oran Park Grand Prix circuit. Oh, absolutely fantastic stuff from the Logical Mirage series. Race two in the third round of their series, and the action is certainly very hot. Now Warren Luff starting to come onto the tail of Gavin Harvey. Run down the inside. Will he make it stick? Contact! Oh, Luffy's been caught out bad. That cost him dearly, and I think Nesbitt slipped through for third. Yeah, well, it looked that way that, uh, once again, very late under brakes. The cars are carrying so much speed. They're arriving at that corner, pulling somewhere in the region of about 185 kilometres an hour. And it's a, a second-gear corner, so it's very late on the brakes. And uh, Speedweek viewers could see just the smoke pouring off that unladen wheel. Very light indeed. Nesbitt back in third. Warren's going to have to sort of work his way back up if he wants to sort of uh, get there on the podium today. Well, certainly Warren is driving with his hair on fire to try to get back to the places that he was in earlier on. And here he goes, back past Nesbitt for third place. So Warren Luff would have to be one of the quickest men on the racetrack at the moment. He is flying. Nesbitt isn't giving up, though. Look at the horsepower of this car with a big run down the inside. But, oh, he might have missed a gear. Did you see Luffy pull away? Yeah, well, it's uh, very easy when you're sort of uh, shifting gears in these cars. You can sort of pluck the wrong gear if you rush it too much. But uh, on screen at the moment, Gary Young in the multiplex car and, uh, and Fulton in the motor oils car. Gary Young coming down through. You'll actually see the cars bounce around a little bit, drifting out there wide very hard on the brakes. You can see what I meant about the smoke pouring off that unladen wheel as Youngie tips the car into the corner, grabs third gear just under the bridge at this point in time, and you hold it absolutely flat. But look at this, Fulton looks for the inside, moves to the outside. Youngie's got the line covered. Shane Brangwen there in this little dice as well. These three, you can throw a blanket over. Yeah, Young is, uh, this is the battle for something like sixth or seventh on the racetrack at the moment. Uh, over 130 odd kilowatts, massive brakes out of an Evo 5. These things are absolutely sensational. I tell you what, they'd be like driving a, uh, a very large go-kart, I'd say. Well, it's a go-kart with a body, people have likened it to, and they've got very stiff suspension. Uh, you really know you've been working very hard, and you can see there, Youngie has got the line covered very late on the brakes, and uh, and Fulton's having a bit of a look, but Youngie has got the corner speed. But back on screen at the moment, Gavin Harvey holding out Warren Luff, and you can see the uh, the cars on this extended part of the circuit. This is the Grand Prix part of the circuit, but, uh, oh, have a look at this. Youngie has just squeezed through again and uh, given Fulton the short back <laughs> side. Well, we saw Young was right against the ripple strip, and Fulton was meant to be on his left so I think Fulton was uh, doing a bit of lawn mowing out there on the edge of the racetrack just then here's Warren Luff back to third place he was up to second the Penrith Mitsubishi number 50 is charging if I look at the lap times he is one of the quickest guys on the racetrack at the moment running this thing into the 121s that is super fast around this place well it surely is but uh, unfortunately when uh, the cars in front get a bit of a lead like we haven't mentioned much about Dean Evans he has really walked away with this one. He's got the lead out in front while the other guys have been racing and rubbing panels. And we've seen plenty of that here today at Oran Park Raceway. That's allowed Mean Dean to power out in front. And I'll tell you what, the way it's going, he's going to hold this way all this, uh, all this way to the chequered flag. Well, they're on their last lap now, and Dean Evans has been a sensational job. This is the last race meeting for Dean Evans on his P-plates. They come off after he gets the signatures from this event and he will be a fully-fledged race car driver, and he's certainly, what a way to get the P's off with a race win. It looks that way, at least with uh, a couple of corners to run, but we won't put the mocker on him. No, we've tended to put the mocker on, but uh, <laughs> but Harvey's been the uh, the improved driver over this season, driving very maturely. He's got the car repainted in that lovely uh, fresh red. You see a few dints on the car, but that's what you get with one make racing. But Gavin, is, uh, as we said, has matured as a driver. He's out there looking for sponsorship, and, uh, and I suppose like everything else, that helps pay the bills. But uh, you can see the different lines coming up onto the bridge. Warren goes exceptionally wide. He's got the foot through the floor. This is absolutely flat-out stuff in third gear. Harvey's car has a little power oversteer for a front-wheel drive car. You throw these cars at the corner and the back actually slides out in an oversteer.
Is that just a, a recognition of how well these things handle for the back to slide in a front wheel drive car like this? Yeah, very much so. Rally Art have done a sensational job with the suspension on the car. They're the most brilliant thing to drive. You can throw them around. The brakes are good, we've mentioned before. And speaking of brakes, look at this. Uh, as we've got uh, the uh, Fast Fours car of Evans coming down for the final time to go into the flag. Yes, Dean Evans, the Fast Fours and Momo car will take a fantastic win here at Oran Park Raceway. Second place to Gavin Harvey and third to Warren Luff sensational action some of the greatest racing we've seen from this logical mirage series so far and there's plenty more to come for the rest of the season right here on speed week back through the field there looks like fulton and brangwin have got past gary young let's head to the pits now where ian luff has our race winners round three of the logical mirage series here at oran park and uh, i guess you could say one very happy chappy in the middle uh, dean evans how do you feel Excellent. This is my first real fair va race victory and I'm just uh, stoked. I'm totally ecstatic. I have a smile on my face for a week, but um, I knew the only chance I had of uh, beating Warren was to get him off the line and I didn't do it in race one, but I did it in race two. Just managed to block him out enough and um, I knew from then on it was going to be a problem for him, so I just got a few clear laps and just put them together. Good stuff. Gavin Harvey from the Bayside Mitsubishi team. Really, uh, really good and a smile also. Oh, I've got a great smile. I think I had more hits than Elvis in that race and, I, and I'm not uh, worried about that one bit because it was just great racing and it's good to have a dice up at the front. Warren Luff, uh, a couple of trophies there, a first and a third, Eddie Bill. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, obviously happy with race one, race two didn't quite go to plan, we didn't get away to the best of starts, but uh, never mind, that's motor racing, we'll see what happens at the next round.